hello everybody and welcome back to my channel Deb chanel's 40s world where we get down and we talk dirty and we talk nonsense and we talk everything allegedly over here okay we just you and i having a one-on-one -on -one conversation on shit that's going on with these celebrities now we're gonna bring up someone called tisa tales she is a youtuber up and coming she even got shouted out by Candy Burris team, okay? And I think Tasha K, she said, shouted her out as well. So congratulations to her. But if you really want to go and see her cut up on her YouTube channel, please go. And tell Del Chanel 48 World sent you all over there for someone else to give the public a kiki and a laugh. She's cute. She's young. She's just she's just funny <laughs> she's just really really funny but she has her youtube channel called tisa tales t-i-s-a-t-e-l-l-s and i do have a video when well i video a picture of her and when i look at the screen i will tell you that's who she is go watch her now none of this is none of my business but she is over there clowning she from she got her information from somewhere i don't know i think she said all true tea but I got to go check them out later on this evening. Because I'm just taping my ass off. Because I ain't got really nothing to do. I got off uh, work. And I won't have to go back to work till Monday. So you are going to definitely be eating. Getting full. Laying around the house. And hopefully listening to some of my videos. To make you kiki laugh and whatever. Okay. But she did a video. And it was called Y'all Dennis Just Exposed Portia. Audio Receipts and Clothes he roasted her y'all so that was the whole title but he was on here because she gave us a little clip i don't know how she got the footage but it has to come from her pursuit not pursuit of portia but portia family values that's coming up like i said she must be with some heavy hitters that uh, are, are giving her some you know before the scenes episodes before it airs which y'all know it come on on november 28th all right so y'all need to be down and dirty and looking at the tea because i'm gonna be there and i am definitely gonna come back and review but she was talking about dennis has exposed portia and all her comings and goings she has been lying to him about when she actually started dating uh simon and them being involved girl she had me laughing over there and, and, and dennis was basically calling portia she ain't messing with no broke 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 in my kanye west voice eager yes because even when she dated me y'all know i'm not broke and she wasn't gonna have a baby uh with me unless i committed to her and we know how that all went down. But he was smart enough, or at least his mother was smart enough for his behind to say, get a prenup, child. Get a prenup because I'm looking at her and I'm looking at her mama. And they, they, they ain't on the side of the Williams historical legacy. They on her mama's side, scheming, getting down, taking me his money, okay? And living off of it and never working, never investing, and never putting nothing at the table, okay? It's just they taking, taking, taking. So she getting that mess from her mama's side of the family. And I'm just saying that allegedly don't know if it's true but that's what it's giving me when i'm looking at them and seeing how diane is not saying anything to her daughter where it can be shown on tv that she has chastised portia for acting like a simple garden tool out here y'all know it starts with an h and it ends with an e all right but hey the apple don't fall too far from the tree that's all i'm saying okay but honey dennis over there saying that she he don't know really when they start dating but he know the type of woman Portia is. And Portia ain't messing with no broke ego. Okay. She just ain't going to do it. She ain't going to waste her time. Cause look, look how she did me. Okay. And I'm like, Dennis, now you might be taking her a little bit too far. You might be telling some truth. But you're telling some lies too. Because you know your behind ain't clean either. You sit up there and messed around on Portia when she was pregnant having your baby. Okay. So, game recognized game. So, both of y'all were tripping on each other. That's my fair play. Okay. But T's was going around here. Him saying Portia was playing him and Dennis at the same time. I like, oh my god. 
goodness. How? But you know, hey, when you're down on the streets and you got people talking, people can find all kind of information on these folks running around here in Atlanta. Because Atlanta, y'all may think it's big, but no, honey, it's just like a small town. Everybody knows somebody that's somebody you want to know. It all just floats around in one little circle, okay? And you'll be surprised how small the circle can get. But, yeah, then it was just dropping down. That, you know, I kind of figured just from looking at a little clips of Portia Family Matters, it was going to be ratchet. And it was going to be everything that you wanted to see. And hopefully you felt that it was on a movie and not actually having somebody act like this in real life. But, as we can see, Portia is cutting up. And, like I said, she acted more like her mama's side of the family than her dad's side of the family. Because her dad's side of the family, they were activists. They were civil rights activists. You see what I'm saying? They they being seen out in the community doing good works, good deeds, Christian folk. You know what I'm saying? And Portia, I don't know. She has, make a, she has made a mockery out of motherhood, out of marriage, out of being a simple black woman, having morals about herself. She don't went from a, a housewife to an H, okay? A garden to H, start with H, end with E, and that's just simply put. I don't know how she went so fast, uh, turning from something positive to something negative overnight. But honey, when she see or she smell or she sense money, she gonna get it no matter what it takes, by any means necessary. Even if it means selling her soul, cause how could you date somebody from what Tisa says for a whole year? For a whole year. Because it did kind of. You know. Anything might be just. You know. Your mind playing with you. When you're giving so much information. After the fact. And then you know. You saw something taping. On the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And how they just showed up. At. Uh, well being invited by Fallon. Of course. She was the new housewife. Uh, that was. The, you know. Bravo was bringing on. And. You know. <sighs> you know. Something would look like a little butler running around. Now. I'm like. I can't for the life of me see. Well, I can see what Portia was looking at when she called herself getting with this old man. That really, I wouldn't ever look at him. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't. No, I can't. Can't do it. Because you just look like a cheater and you look like a thieving thief. Okay? And this is what he gave me when I just looked at him. He looked kind of looked like the devil. If you had to think about the devil being, you know, the horns and everything like that. Just look at Simon real close. You'll see what I'm saying. But anyway. And then just the past of um, Tisa was telling us through her video commentary that, and other vloggers as well, how Simon's not really doing nothing for his ex-wives. Now, I'm like, if you're going to have a whole lot of wives out there and exes at that, you should be able to take care of them. But it don't seem like he's taking care of his kids from previous uh, marriages or affairs or just laying down, spreading it wide and busting it wide open. You know what I'm saying? So, I, 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 hey, I'm glad Fallon saw the writing on the wall and she was uh, young enough, smart enough to get out of the situation. Because what I'm understanding, everything that Simon gave her, he made her or insisted that it be in her name, okay? So, he probably was just using her to get to see who she knew in the uh, entertainment world, in, you know, in entertainment business or whatnot. Or just using for her at, uh, as a trophy wife. As something pretty to look at and to put on his arm. Arm candy is what I'm saying. And uh, she probably just got tired of his mess, you know what I'm saying? So, she fooled around or whatever okay but was simon fooling around prior to that was he actually messing with portia because what tisa tells from the information she got from another blogging mm -hmm. site they have portia up there fooling with simon at saint regis hotel okay coming and going and i'm like portia how can you sit there and do this thing with this man and you're supposed to be christian you're supposed to have a christian christian background you were an evangelist at one time and now you simply just sitting up there like a gold digging messing with stealing taking over being a jezebel with some somebody else's husband i mean if they weren't like how you call it divorced paper signed sealed and filed in the court system if that wasn't done, and you were messing with them prior to, then you just committed adultery. Girl, girl.
girl i mean i don't know what it is i don't know what your mama taught you or what you saw somebody that you admired taught you about how to secure the bag or secure a man and his coins but child from what they saying about simon all his stuff is fictitious and allegedly he's supposed to be worth half a billion but from what fi um uh fallon his ex-wife said hey man ain't got no business he don't have no office you know like most of us who run businesses from home you know side hustle jobs whatnot you know we have our computer we have our printer we have our scale that weighs the items that we're trying to sell we and that's tisa tells uh and that's fallon pina she actually did a interview with her and she was dropping tea to tisa about how mr gabadia was getting down okay he was just he's a fraud that's pretty much what she said he was a fraud and he had got deported uh, he had some federal crimes attached to him allegedly but i'm sure if you go over to some sunday omni's youtube channel which i'm gonna catch some commentary from her too and try to get her take on some things and then i'm going to actually see if i can come with the same conclusion but honey she called simon gabalia uh meaning sunday uh, omni on her youtube channel josh we call him dirty simon <laughs> <laughs> dirty low down time and i'm like hey i don't know if they're in the same culture type uh realm and she knows so much about him uh or where she's getting her information from but child she be on point just what she be saying don't know if it's true she it just might be total speculation her opinion or what she was given by other people but she even said that um, Simon Gabadi was actually watching her show uh, and was quite impressed. But it is what it is because he never would say her name uh, to give her press. You know, that he's watching her and, st you know, listening to everything she's saying. It, you know, it, com it may come to differ that he may be watching her and he may be trying to touch up himself as Sandy Omni. Um, goes and do her commentary on him so because at one time she was saying he was just tired looking he was not a healthy man he was just sleeping all the time then he comes out where she watches him on his uh youtube channel i uh, not youtube channel but uh instagram account or something where he's exercising he's trying to be buff and all that so it can be the difference that he does watch her and he does take some of her points and he tries to straighten out himself. But again, he won't acknowledge her for the work that she has definitely put in on him and deemed him Dirty Simon. Okay? But child, child, child. I don't know if Portia gets her innate ability to not look at things of how they are and investigate before she goes full steam ahead thinking she got her sugar daddy or she got her wealthy black businessman okay so um <laughs> girl tisa you have to go watch her even if you just watch one time she will make you chuckle she will just make you laugh because she is definitely giving it what it's worth over there. Talking about Simon Gavadio, Portia, and Dennis. But I had told y'all when I first saw that clip that they gave us as a preview to come on um, uh, Portia's Family. Uh, the, uh, Portia's Family Matters. I've been to say values. Which is lack of that, you know, as we can tell. Uh, child, they... Portia was getting the paws on somebody and like I said they were saying it was her sister Lauren or it could have been Dennis child I, I don't know but I'm just saying the paws really Portia the paws again girl they're gonna send you back to Anna and oh we call it anger management again they're gonna send you back and then they just might totally take you off but I think the show is gonna be pretty ratchet it's gonna probably make the Williams side meaning Portia's dad side look a little tarnished so hopefully elizabeth um uh, jose williams daughter who organized or she was um taking over what her father had been the founder of the jose feed the hungry organization uh she better be careful with how she's being portrayed on these reality shows because something that she had helped her father 
um with as an a, 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 a humanitarian type organization she don't want that to be tarnished over no foolishness on no reality show and like i said uh portia was kind of wrong but even bringing them in that situation because tv can sort of tarnish a real pristine image that she has in the community with all this foolishness but the little part that i saw of uh elizabeth williams slash her married name uh, she ain't taking no shit. She ain't taking no shit, y'all. She just coming with the gusto. She's she's like that uh, grandmama, that mama, or the auntie that just be sending things straight. And you either buy by them or you get the hell out of her face, okay? And her life, if, if possible. But you're going to toe the line with her. And what's wrong was wrong. And what's right was right. And what she was trying to tell Portia, looking at Portia, she was looking at Portia like a damn fool. Like, girl you are really making us look stupid and you need to check yourself get yourself back in church and and and, and, and get the holy ghost get something in your body because right now you are a, a hollow shell that every demon and, and every type of evil ev ugh, evil entity can enter you she was just oh i like oh I, I gotta watch y'all i gotta watch it come on sunday the 28th i'm telling y'all don't miss out on this first one because they said it's gonna be more ratchet as time goes on with whatever little episodes they gave her of this first season and then she got dennis mckinley dropping dime on her before the show even starts that that that's just something right there <laughs> That, that is something to get the weight off you because they say if you laugh a lot it's good it, it releases endorphins when it's the good serotonin in your brain and it also helps you lose weight a little bit so yeah honey make sure y'all watch it so y'all can get some of that weight off through some laughter and and, 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 and some tear jerking moments i'm sure from laughter but that's all I had. I'm introducing y'all to another YouTuber that, uh, you know, like, come with the stuff, come with the receipts. And she's a good uh, vlogger as well. Her name is Tisa Tales. So, y'all check her out if y'all want to look at somebody else that can get you to laugh. And, and, you know, of course, she speculates a lot, which all of us do. Everything is legit over here because we ain't no true journalists. We ain't out here trying to dig up people's dirt, go to the, the courthouse and, and, and mess with those records and see what we can find out and put out. At least I'm not. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going by what you hear when you're on the street. You just don't have a platform to speak it loud, uh, you know, out where other people can hear you. That's why I come in. I sit on here. And I tell y'all my, my opinion about a subject that I've been thinking about or had information on. And it affected me some kind of way. Because I don't talk about stuff that I don't care, you know, care about. Stuff I care about and I feel like I want to have a conversation. I can't get my real family to sit and talk to me about it. I had to come on my tube. That's Tisa Tales, y'all. Go on over there and see what she got to offer you all. T-I-S-A Tales. T-E-L-L-S. But, um, I forgot what I was going to say. That's what old age is. Short-term memory. You know, I had that COVID shot. So, I don't know. It might be playing this time with me. I don't know, y'all. I don't know about that COVID shot. But, anyway, I got my two doses. Um, and that's all I'm planning on doing. Because I need to wait five to seven years to see what these two doses are going to do to me. Hopefully, it's nothing. Plead the uh, blood of Christ over that. But that's all I got, y'all. It's a hot mess. And I'm sure that show going to be a hot mess. So, if you want your laughter, you want your key keys in, you probably want to invest your time and see it. If you can handle that type of stuff or you get down with that kind of stuff here and there. I ain't saying make it a, a, a lifetime, you know, a uh, stroll. But if you like to be entertained with ratchetness here and there, I think it's going to be a good show to watch. Now, am I going to buy Portia's book? Nope. <laughs> I sure am not not even gonna entertain it but my daughter did say that she might buy it because she just wanted to read up on it and see what other jewels she could find out to try to talk about on her youtube channel which her youtube channel is star j craziness okay check her out she's a hoot as well and you know the apple don't fall too far from the tree that's my baby okay but child 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 the plot just keeps sticking in okay Christmas has come early for folks that want to get a laugh because Dennis of all people, okay, all people. No, he, he, you know, he ain't clean either. His hands ain't clean either. But he trying to turn and drop down on his baby mama, okay? 
dropping dime on his baby mama. And then have a nerve to say in the show that he want Portia back. <laughs> he want their family back. I'm like, you, man, you have the audacity. Then Tisa was saying something about Portia's ring that she had got from Simon Gabadio that they, they don't really feel, feel it's real. <laughs> like... <coughs> Most people are diamond experts. They could tell you who probably uh, manufactured that particular diamond or who's selling that particular diamond. But she was insinuated that that big ass diamond, nobody you know, knows anything about where that diamond comes. I like, wait a minute. Simon over here giving somebody bump, uh, bubblegum ball rings. Did you, did you get in one of those little bubblegum machines? <laughs> I'm like, Woo, Porsche, 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 Porsche. But hey, if you're trying to be a gold digger out there and you ain't mess with no broke, broke eagles out there, then you get what you got, okay? And if you barked up the wrong tree and this man, okay, this man called Simon Gabbada, you fooled you, faked you, found that you, effed you, girl. What was your mama teaching you? What was your mama teaching you? Okay. But that's all I got for this video, guys. If y'all like it, love it, gotta have more. Don't hesitate to drop down in those uh, buttons down there on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel. You'll know when I drop my videos, okay, before most people would know because you'll get that notification uh, that I did drop down a video. Like and share my videos, okay? Get it out to the public, all right? Get it out there. Get it out there. Share my stuff now. Share it and like it as well. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.